head coach of the Wildcats, Sean Miller, after the Wildcats win tonight. And before anything else, coach, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being the coach. Thank you for what you said earlier today. We want to talk about the game tonight, but just on behalf of the fans, thank you. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. All right, 75-67. You knew Stanford was a good team. They were, they were playing very good basketball coming in. Uh, they were not going to fold uh, tonight at all, and they played hard right till the end. What was the difference for the Wildcats in the win? You know, our defense was was very good tonight, and uh, you know, Stanford is a very well coached team. And like you said, I think both times that we played them, we played them at a time where they were really playing well, mm -hmm. and uh, they have a, a, a lot of different things to worry about. You know, Dorian Pickens is in my mind, one of the conference's best shooters and moves really well without the ball. Obviously, Dejon Davis, a very talented f freshman at the point guard. And then, you know, same thing with, with KZ, you know, on the other wing. But, you know, inside with Reed Travis and Michael Humphrey, I mean, those guys are old, they're big, and, and they have a, a great way of playing. So I think for us to defend like we did is a great sign. You know, I can't really expect our team to be hitting, hitting on all cylinders tonight after all that we've gone through. And I think we had some of that. You know, maybe we didn't play as well individually. There are some times where we might not have played as well on offense, but I think that will come back as things settle down. Nothing better for seniors than to have success on their final weekend at home. So let's start with Dusan Ristich tonight. And just an incredible performance on a guy that has, uh, you know, done so much for your program over the four years. He and Parker, of course, the two four-year seniors. But, uh, you know, both of them played well tonight. Well, let's start with Dusan and his 21 points. Well, Dusan has so much confidence. It started a long time ago, and it's just never left. Uh, his ability to shoot away from the basket and score in the low post is an offensive package that not a lot of players have that are playing in college basketball. But... He's, he's how it used to be. He came in as a freshman and worked hard, learned from the older players, contributed as much as he could, and grew. And a lot of times it wasn't by, you know, yards. It was by inches where every year he seemed to add something to what he did on the basketball court that he didn't do a year ago. It has always been through hard work. But just to watch him become who he's become here as an all-conference player, it's uh, it's quite a testament to him. And say the same thing about Keanu and obviously Parker. Parker and Dusan have been here longer, but, you know, the leadership of those guys, uh, you could feel it this week uh, while we were going through a lot. And uh, it's great to see them play their hearts out here in the last week of the season. Now, a couple years ago, if Dusan would have grabbed the rebound and dribbled himself all the way down court, would you have cringed at that point? No, I would have, but he's proven me wrong so many times. <laughs> I just let him do what he wants now. You know, okay. as long as he promises to rebound, uh, I think we, we're very comfortable with what he does on offense. But you know, I think the one one thing that we have to correct is just our turnovers. It's what really hurt our team at Oregon, the 17 turnovers. Just didn't give us enough quality shots. And, you know, you turn the ball over, it leads to dunks and threes. And in the first half, a lot of Stanford's transition came off of our turnovers. And, and we're a team that can play with 10 or fewer. And uh, I think that's important we get back to that. Stanford's going to be a tough out in Las Vegas, correct? Mm -hmm. They are. And, you know, I, I believe that, that right now at 10 and 7, if they don't have a, uh, a first round bye, uh, certainly they're working towards it. Yeah. But they're a team that can win uh, three games in three days and maybe even four and four games, four days. You mentioned defense earlier, and that's been a theme all season long, and it's gotten better. It's been mm -hmm. steady progress. Uh, I, I know you keep wanting it to get better and better, but uh, do you like kind of where the guys are right now in terms of their defensive assignments? Our team has improved on defense. It's been slow and steady. We've had our frustration points, but overall I think we know what to do. Uh, we play harder. And our defensive rebounding, it was a big deal tonight, uh, especially in the first half. You know, in the second half, they ended up getting a lot of second shots, especially Reed Travis. But at halftime, the reason we had the point differential that we did is they were getting no second shots. And that's a strength of ours with DeAndre and Raleigh and Dusan and those guys around the basket. And uh, we have to keep doing that. And I think the, the combination for us is no second shots by our opponent because that's where our talent is and try to play this game with 10 or fewer turnovers. That combination really means a lot towards winning. I was talking to Lorenzo Romar before the ball game, and he just talked about the tremendous character of your basketball team. And this past few days has, has really shown the strength there, uh, the, the family unity that they have, the love for each other, for you. 
and, and the staff. And I'll, I'll leave you with that and just what you can say about what these guys have done for each other. Really, really have. You know, we've, we've been through uh, an awful lot. And a lot of times you forget when we went over to Barcelona to have that, you know, great summer trip. It, it ended in a terrorist attack, you know. And uh, so if you start there, uh, our guys have certainly had some joy and great moments. But we've fought. And I think it, adversity sometimes can bring out the best in a group and people. And, you know, I really believe that uh, for us, that's how we have to look at it. And, you know, the sky is the limit for our team moving forward if we're hitting on all cylinders. The key is every team loves to hit on all cylinders in March, and not all, not all teams do. And it's up to us to get them there. All right. Congratulations yeah. on the win. Coach, thank, thank you again. Thanks, Brian. All right. And Coach Sean Miller here courtside at McHale Center where the Wildcats beat the Cardinal 75-67. to 67.